Hello and welcome to Drugs Plus. Whether you're here for exam revision or just general interest, I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for similar content coming soon. Today's video is part of my current series on therapies for type 2 diabetes and this particular video focuses on alpha-glucosidase inhibitors. These drugs work by reducing carbohydrate digestion and thus preventing hyperglycemia rather than taxing it after it's happened like the majority of diabetes drugs. So, this is a gut lumen where nutrients are absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract to the bloodstream. This epithelium contains villi which act to increase the surface area across which nutrients can be absorbed. If we zoom in further, you can see that on these villi are microvilli, also known as the brush border, increasing the surface area further. Zooming in again, you can see that upon these microvilli are the enzyme alpha-glucosidase, which acts to convert complex carbohydrates such as sucrose to simple ones such as glucose and fructose. By inhibiting this enzyme, the amount of simple sugars that can be absorbed into the bloodstream at any given time is reduced. Not only does this reduce the rate at which glucose enters the bloodstream, it also means that glucose is absorbed more by the distal gastrointestinal tract than the proximal gastrointestinal tract. So this is without the alpha-glucosidase inhibitors. And this is with. So this means that more enteroendocrine L cells will be stimulated to release GLP-1 into the bloodstream. GLP-1 is an incretin hormone which enhances glucose-dependent insulin secretion. It actually has far more anti-diabetic effects than that and I'll provide the link to my GLP-1 video in the description box below. The only drug of this kind available in the UK is Asarbos, but others are available in other countries. However, as the use of alpha-glucosidase inhibitors increase the amount of complex carbohydrates in the distal gastrointestinal tract, these are left to be digested by colonic bacteria, the product of which causes flatulence and diarrhea. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll be back with more pharmacology videos soon.